Tell me the story of your brother going with your wife all these years. What's the story behind that? Ryan Giggs accepts he's known around the world for two things, his abilities as a footballer and his inability to remain faithful to his partners. I'm one of his golf dudes, we've had an argument, She's drove home and then later found that she'd slept with him that night. She was six months pregnant. Oh, my. We met in hotels. Um, I worked as an estate agent, so I had access to property. She would get keys from houses and go to houses. So she was shagging him in different houses. You couldn't write this story. And I later found out that he was finding out where I lived. So when it wasn't there, he could come. Still now, ten years on. Every single person in my family still don't speak to me. <laughs> don't speak to you. Rodri, welcome to the show, mate. I'm mean, it, you right? Very good, very good. Looking forward to this one. Let's roll all the way back. Where did you grow up and what was childhood like for you? When we was um, free, we moved to Swinton, Salford. Yeah, Manchester. Where were you before that? Cardiff. Oh, so I was born in Cardiff. Okay. Uh, yeah, born in Cardiff. All my family's from Wales. All my family's from Cardiff. Still live in Cardiff today. Um, yeah, moved up to Swinton, Manchester. Three years of age and lived there ever since. Really? Mm -hmm. And what was childhood like with you? Were your mum and dad together? Were you, did you have any yeah, mum and dad were together. Dad played rugby for Swinton. Did he? Uh, yeah. Rugby that's, Union? Yeah, no, rugby league. Rugby league, okay. Played rugby union for Cardiff, for Wales, and then obviously got a move to Swinton, and that's played, how we moved up there. He played Wales first team, did he? Yeah, many years ago, yeah. Did he? I've got a shirt. Uh, I need to get it framed, actually. It's got, like, it's 1985 or 86, I can't remember. But yeah. it's, it's Wales against England. It's, like, knitted. You know, the old, yeah, the really old, old heavy old, ones. proper heavy, yeah. <laughs> what was but, his name? Um, Danny Wilson. Danny Wilson. Mm. What position, do you remember? Standoff, scrum half. Was he? But, yeah. So he was a player. Yeah. A baller. Yeah. Happy days. And what was what was life like for you up in Manchester, growing up in your teens and moving on? <coughs> are you, old, are you, what age? I'm 45, Ryan's 48, 48 okay. 49 this year. Yeah. And what was it like your teenage years up in Yeah, there? it was good. Um, local school. Um, bit difficult because back in the you know in the eighties there wasn't many you know people of colour. My dad was black, yeah. mum was blonde there, so we were mixed family. So that was interesting, but um, no, quite relatively sporting family. Yeah, loved rugby, football, athletic, anything sporty. Everything. Yeah, so anything sporty. I mean, was it? How was it for you at school being mixed race? Was there racism back then? Yeah, it was just just normal. The, yeah. the, the, the gollywog, the you know, the, the jam jars, all them kind of stuff. But yeah, it was kind of normal back in them days. But because it was probably because it was, uh, you'd, you'd have obviously the rougher areas that obviously are not grown up with the right ethics and right morals yeah. and not been taught properly. And yeah, so but you get it from all walks of life. It's not just them. Yeah, of course. And were you both, you and your brother uh, Ryan, both at school together? Yes, I would be in my no, I, um, in secondary school. Yeah, I was in my first year. He would be in his last year. Yeah. So yeah. what age group was that? So I'd be eleven. He'd be leaving school. Okay. Yeah. And he'd have one year left at school. And what was your football in? Uh, what were you like at football as a kid? Yeah, good, good. Just um, was that your sport? No, rugby was. It was. Yeah, I would prefer rugby. I would have been my dad, but as soon as my dad left. Everything changed. Yeah, just everything changed. What age did he leave? I was about 10, 11. Really? Yeah. Why did he More, leave? Uh, it was just abusive to my mum. All kinds of stuff. And my mum had had enough and yeah, he'd left. Wow. He went back to Cardiff, just up and left. And then probably didn't see him for about 25 years after You're that. You're joking, mate. No, about 20 odd years, yeah. Why? Yeah. Just, I don't know. What, you didn't want to see him or he, did, he didn't want to see you or? Uh, no, probably I didn't want to see him at the time. Okay. Then just over the years, you just, you know. Drift. Yeah. He obviously, live, he lives in 
Cardiff. I lived in Manchester. Yeah. He's never had a driving license. Well, he's got one now, but he never had a driving license. We'd always drive and get banned and yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it like your footballing with with Ryan? What age did what, what age did Ryan? You knew Ryan was going to make it because he was young, wasn't he? When did he sign for Man United? Uh, well, he was at City first. Was he at Man City he was at Ma- first? He's at Manchester City first, and they let him go. You're joking, me. No. No, oh, I don't think they let him go, but you know, I think they asked him to come back. But then United asked him, and he was a United fan, so he was always going to go United. Yeah. But City he was at City first, schoolboys, yeah. And then he left to go to United about 14, 15, 14. Yeah. yeah. And you being three years younger, did you know he was special then? Did you, or did, were you thinking older? Man, I've got well, I play old. football. I play with him. Yeah. So, um, were you a better player than him? Well, I. I he beat me, but you know I give him a good game. So yeah. and he's four years, three years older than me. So yeah, and like I say, when as soon as he hit eleven, you know, smoking, yeah. hanging around the wrong people, yeah, you know. So that's the route you took, but he went yeah. down the clean route. Yeah, yeah. Going right, I want him to be a professional. Did he always yeah. want to be a professional footballer? Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And always for United. Loves United. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. And when you were, when he was playing at the age of seventeen, what was your lifestyle like? Knowing your older brother is becoming going through the ranks at United and one of the he's just proud, just happy. Just you know, your brother's playing for Man United. You, you get a little bit, little bit of crap that goes with it, but you, you don't mind that. It's, yeah. You know, it's your brother's living his dream, and um, yeah, it was all good. It was good times because they they were close to winning the league. And Leeds won it, United come second, but then it turned into the Premier League, 92-93. Right. 93, that's right, yeah. And then United won it, yeah. So Wow. It was a, and yeah. was, he still, was he still living at home with you guys when he w- went to United? Yeah. Yeah, he was still living at home too. He was like about 20, 21. Wow. Yeah. And he was like lived on a main street. Yeah. It's like you come out and it's like a main street. Yeah. On the doorstep, yeah. didn't have no front garden. It was like an old cottage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on the main street. <laughs> and like bus would pull up, and literally the bus could see into because we used to share a bedroom. Yeah. And the bus could literally see into our bedroom. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Quality. And what was it like for you knowing that he was becoming famous? Were you proud to be his brother? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Um, yeah, it was just great. So because I had a season ticket, but by then, so I used to go every week I didn't really play myself so yeah it was good would you go home and away yes did yes. you go away as yes. well did you yeah away probably when later on in the 90, 90s yeah I went home and away in the 90s so the treble season I missed one game so yeah that was wow. Bromby away the rest seen into Milan uh, everywhere Real Madrid everywhere when we didn't play Real Madrid that year but and I did go to Real Madrid to watch. And know. how did you get treated knowing that people knew you were Ryan Giggs' brother? Well, I'd go with like, I was kind of attached myself with like the wrong crowd. So, <laughs> I'd, be, so I'd be, where they'd be like all the families and stuff. So I'd go and see my mum, but I would yeah. never be like. In it. Yeah. So I'd be, you know, in the bars or. Yeah. Yeah. Getting on it. Yeah. And what was the, what was the, what was the age group when he really really made it you go you know what he's turned from earning not much money to actually becoming a wealthy footballer 17. was it early Seven, doors yeah 17 17 because you know, he was playing like 30 games at 17 against you know keeping internationals out of the team and taking the piss based out of uh, internationals in training yeah so yeah and what was his relationship like? Was it Sir Alex Ferguson badly signed, wanted him and badly yeah. wanted for the team? He come to come to the house. I remember he come to the house, and uh, Mum had uh, remarried, and obviously he didn't know nothing about football. Yeah, and you know she made him a cup of tea, and he come out with a big like roll on mug, and give him an arm. His Mum's like, oh my oh, no. god, what to Sir Alex? <laughs> yes. No, she's like, oh my, oh no, give him the china. Yeah. Like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, uh, that was about. That was when he was 14, 15, yeah. But he was always like a father figure to him, Ferguson. Yeah. Yeah, really close. Yeah. They still probably are today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what was, the, what was, what was your movements then as he was going through the ranks, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22? What were you well, doing? Well, I was at 15, 16. I got expelled from school. For? Uh, a load of things. It, it, it was, at the end, I got expelled for not doing my homework. I got a load of stipulations that I had to yeah. do. And that was basically, I didn't do it. So that was, 
I was down the road and then um, I ended up having a conversation with mum about three months away from the school finishing. She said, what are you going to do? You know, you, you've been left in school. You need to get a job. You need to have to work in a warehouse. No, you have to go to college or yeah. stuff like that. So I'm like, what? Yeah. And then it was in the papers that I got expelled. And um, through that, Talkie United got in contact with me. Uh, ended up going there for a trial, mm. which was weird in itself because I had to go, but I had to go as a different person, as a as a Rodney. My name was Rodney Jones, so I couldn't say it was Rodney Good because the, the kids would be like always pestering me, always mad, and they thought it'd be a distraction. Yeah, but it was more of a distraction because Rodney Jones, because the coaches were saying Jonesy, and I was like, who's the fuck's Jones? And he got all oh, right, yeah. <laughs> So after a bit, they're like, well, is that your real yeah, name? Yeah. But yeah. In that mad, you had to go undercover to <coughs> 15, a 15. At 15. Age, yeah. Because your brother was so famous. Yeah. Did that cause any uh, problems with you trying to keep up with your brother? No, no. 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 It wasn't like, oh my God, I've got the gig's name. I'm gonna, everyone's no. going to think I'm as good as him or better than no, him. Or... No. Nothing like that ever. No. And what was your what was your sort of career in football? Did you carry on well, playing football? Well, I went to Torquay and obviously I was doing well and then obviously I'm getting into trouble. I get moved houses and I get moved in with the, the chairman's uh, family, the chairman's daughter's family, so yeah. husband and kids and yeah. stuff. And we used to go to the chairman's house to um, on Sundays and he used to have this big fucking massive wallet of money and I fucking took a load of money <laughs> from it. And I told one of the teammates, one of my teammates, and he got caught nicking money who was making the tees for the, the opposition players at half time and he was <laughs> dipping me and he got caught <laughs> so then he grasped me up and yeah so then I got sacked at, after nine months and, and what age were you then? 16 16 back to Manchester then. back to Manchester yeah. then what? And that was just messing about really just what partying? yeah Hacienda yeah uh, Boardwalk all kinds of mad places in Manchester yeah. yeah and when did you meet when did you meet from there when did you meet your ex-wife? Natasha. Oh, that was until 2003. 2003. So, yeah, we're talking another 10 years, yeah. yeah. 2003. Uh, I'd been in jail before that. I'd been in, um, yeah, loads of stuff of that before really? I'd met. I'd been into, uh, obviously. What did you get put away for? I'd come. I'd gone to London, Yeah. obviously working, like I, t I told you before, I was, yeah. uh, was living in Wapping as a state agent. Best times of my life. I loved really? it, yeah, loved it. The office was on Wapping High Street, you know, because London, no one really cares, or you do it your own thing. Yeah, no one really cares, and you know, Manchester's big, but it's not London big. No, exactly. So you can you can go and do it your own yeah. thing and, yeah. and get away with it, and no one's really bothered. Get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, this um, this um, Sheik contacted me one day. Sheik, Sheik, what? Sheik, type of Sheik? Sheik. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Contacted me saying, um, you, you know, we're looking for some apartments. Um, Relatives are coming over. They want. They're, they're going to King's College, and we need a couple of apartments for two or three years. We're going to be playing up front, so it's big commission for yourself. We got your card back from a taxi driver, which I should have questioned at yeah, that time. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, so I've gone and met him in a penthouse in Canary Wharf. Servant is open. He's come in. He's got the sheik. He's got the the shisha. He's got servants all around him. So I'm thinking. Oh, you big, think? Do you think this is the real deal? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> so, um, so basically, take him to see the apartments. He says, "Yeah, you know, I'm interested. You know, we're going to have a look around, but we're definitely interested. We'll come back to you. Um, is there any anywhere that you know we can go out tonight? Because we can't go out in the West End. Uh, someone who a relative is not very well. And we can't be seen out partying in the West End. So there's a place where um, I don't know if you know it, where you go over Tower." If you go over Tower Bridge, yeah. and if you go into World's Canary Wharf, yeah. on the left there, there was a lap dancing place. Okay. And we was like, um, uh, what's the, the membership called? Like a, a corporate membership. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we could go anytime he wants. We yeah. said, yeah, well, I'll take you there. We could yeah. go there. So he said, we go there. And uh, we have a couple, of, a couple of drinks, and he says, can you get any drugs? I says, uh, nah, I don't know. We're in London. I don't really know anyone in the... Uh, so anyway, based a couple of weeks, keep going, keep going. He keeps asking us out, keep going out. And he keeps asking me for drugs. I said, I don't know him in London. Stop asking me for drugs. Yeah. I can't get you drugs. Yeah. So anyway, a week later, I said, oh, I'm going back to Manchester. He said, oh, let's, we'll come back to Manchester. We'll watch your brother and all that. I said, yeah, no problem. Met him at the Marriott in Worsley. Uh, my brother uh, was going to a, a party at Paul Lynch's house. So I made him meet, meet me at the Marriott. 
and we met him and he had a little pictures and stuff like that and then he said where are you going tonight I says well he was going to some like bad place so I said oh yeah I might meet you there I was no intention of yeah. going there she said can you get any drugs I said yeah no problem I'm in Manchester no 10 drug dealers anyway I get him meet him in the hotel and it's all cameras and stuff no. and he, he was the chief exec chief, uh, chief reporter for the news of the world oh mate <laughs> oh yeah oh so what happened then got sacked back to Manchester and within six months I was in prison got in a fight in Manchester um, gone to your rhino yeah. in a club called the Ambersand and there's a guy come next to me are you Giggsy's brother I said mate just can do one yeah. try to have a piss here Kept an anatomy, kept him out, so I've walked away. Gone off to the other side of the club. He's come straight over. Yeah, you gigs, he's blowing. Mate, leave me alone. So when he kept tight, so we've gone, I've gone to my mate, come on, let's go out of here. We've gone out of the club. He's come out again. Basically kicked off. We beat both of them up and, you know, we end up going to prison for oh, it. Oh, mate. Mm. How long did you get? Uh, only nine months. Did four and a half. But I enjoyed it, to be honest. It was a, it was a scary, but... Exciting experience, but you know, I, Whereabouts I were you? what prison were you at? I was in Strange Rays at first for a yeah. month and then just an open prison, Kirkham, for three and a half. What did you like about it? Just the experience of it, you know. I watched so many films and read so many books about it. This, listen, it was scary. I don't, I'm, how I'm, old I'm, were you at the time when you got put away? I, it was 2001, so I was inside when September 11th happened, so yeah. 2001, yeah, which was how old, roughly. Uh, 24. 24. 24, yeah. No, 20, no. No. Born in 77, so, yeah, 24. 24. 24, yeah. That must have been a shock to the system. I know you said it, yeah, it was, was fun going we, in, it but it you was, must have gone. We weren't expected it yeah. either, because we, we do, you do your pre-sentence report, yeah. and you're not going to you know, go to prison, but of the day of the, <laughs> day of the, the track, the, the, the case, uh, my solicitor's coming he's like it's not good he says why he says, we've got a judge but he's a, he's a director of Liverpool Football Club and he's a bastard <laughs> oh no yeah he just threw the book at us just going back to the shake there so that shake that undercover thing from News of the World they're teeing you up as Ryan Giggs' brother so they can use that across the across all the press right? well, I, was a, I, was a, I was a drug dealer I was a pimp all just to get at him not, 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 I've done I'm nothing I'm just working as an estate agent no drug dealer halfway through that that, didn't, that story, we, uh, he said, can you get any girls? Yeah. So we've gone back to our office pre before we've gone back to the um, to his hotel and we've got on the yellow page and got an escort service yeah. and got it to the hotel. <laughs> so in, in the in the, in the the article, it's gone pimp, pimp, <laughs> drug dealer and all kinds of stuff. So they, like, just make, they can just make anything they uh, want up. Yeah. And then what actually happened that moment then? So if you got done like that, did your brother phone up and go, what are you playing at? No, because he kind of knew that I was speaking to him. He's obviously met him. He knows the story. Yeah. That, that oh, yeah, the, um, I'm showing him apartments. And I'll look after him. I'm going to get like eight, seven grand here yeah. in commission. So he's just, yeah. How does he do, How would he deal with that, knowing that it's his reputation, his surname? It's nothing, it's nothing to do with him, really. So you don't care? He's like, like, no, it's, it's a stitcher, isn't it? Yeah. And then you find out that, you know, he's done it to hundreds. He's done it to, to Lisa recently. He's been into prison for it, and that's why I probably got paid out for my hacking case because he was all over it. You got paid out for what? Hacking. Go on. News of the world. What, what year was that? Last year. Really? What from back then? Yeah. You're joking, mate. No. How much did you get? Mm, it was good. Was it? Yeah. North of a hundred. Yeah. Wow. 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 And that is that case been going? How long has that case been going on for? Three years. Three years, but it only comes to case when, and he obviously he found out that he's lied. He's, so who's he, lied? The, the reporter. So the reporter from the News of the World is he the one got put away in prison yes. now? Yeah. And who's paying? The News of the World. So the News of the Worlds are paying everyone off. Yeah. And how many people were in? Hundreds. And the solicitor who I've dealt with have never lost. Wow. So his name's it's name, Hugh Grant what? who started it all. Hugh Grant and um, the guy who just died from Formula One. The, the old guy from Formula One, what's his name? Uh, not, Max Max Mosley. Okay. Yeah. So so basically, this has been going on for ages, and everyone's had a massive payout. Yeah. Because yeah, they were still going on. What were they doing with your phone? They were tapping it. Yeah. Voicemails or whatever. Yeah. So what does news? Of the, why do people not know about this? Like to go, you know what? News of the world. Because they're settling out of court. 
Was, was yours out of court settlement? Yeah. yeah. And you pushed, they gave you, made you, would they make you an offer? You said no. Made you an offer? No, said no. No, my offer was that good. My solicitors said, said it was it. that good from what we've dealt, we've dealt with hundreds. But that was because of the Mahmoud, Mazir Mahmoud, the Sheikh. But that's not his real name, right? Mazir Mahmoud is his name. That's his real name. Yeah. And he was getting Look paid. Look it up. Mazir Mahmoud. Mazir yeah, Mahmoud. Face, yeah. Wow. The, the fake shake, right? Proper the fake shake, yeah. The fake shake. The fake, fake shake, yeah. He done Sam Allardyce and done a load of people, yeah. didn't he? He's done loads of people. Hundreds. Sven Goran Eriksson. He's done That's loads. right. Sven. Yeah. Who else did he do? Do you Gaza? Uh, remember the, the Beckham story? The kidnapping? That was him. You're joking, no. mate. What happened in that story? Got someone to... He just made made it all up. What, just completely made up? That yeah, and it was, they, they were going to get kidnapped. Bloody hell. What's Beckham What's David Beckham like? Yeah, really nice. Good lad? Yeah, really good. Straight. Good family. Yeah, yeah really nice. He's got great morals, hasn't he? Yeah. Bloody hell. And did you ever hang around the, the sort of the, the <coughs> lads, the, the, obviously your brother, your Scolzi, your Bex, um, all those boys? Or were you yeah, just in a different... the, the, the ones his own age, probably more than anyone. Yeah, because you know you'd be around it, but only when they'd be out or I'd see them out. I wouldn't, you know, never really pester them because they're always getting my word, so I would, would leave them alone. Yeah, yeah. but they'd already speak. Rex was brilliant. They're all, they're all, you know, I was friendly with Coley as well and Dwight York. Um, yeah, they loved the party, didn't they? <laughs> Yorkie did. <laughs> Yorkie yeah. loved Yorkie the party. Did, yeah. yeah, Yorkie did. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, so then you, you moved on, you come out of prison. Would you have a different mindset at the age of 24? Going, I've done a bit of time. I don't want to get... Because you must get harassed. Like, like you said a minute ago, oh, Giggsy's brother, you're Giggsy's brother. Was that a nuisance to you? Yeah. Has it been a nuisance all your life? Just deal with it now. It's, 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 yeah, it's like, how old now? 14, so I've been there like 30 years. Yeah. Has it ever worked in your favour? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to take negative and positive. Yeah, course, I was going to say, how's Can't it be all negative? <laughs> <laughs> how's it worked in your favour? Um, girls are stupid, aren't they? <laughs> well, some of them are stupid. Not all of them. Could you get like, away with saying you are your? I would Ryan. never. No, I would never. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I, no, no. People would say, it, but no. So you've never, at any point in your life, ever said, "Oh yeah, I'm, I'm no, Ryan." Never. When no. You're chatting someone no. up. No, <laughs> never, never, never. <laughs> no. What other, what other, what other plus points are there being brother of Ryan for you over the years? Is it just is it easy access to get tickets? What other stuff has been good? Yeah, to get just, into clubs and yeah, just uh, it's mostly all nice to be honest. It's only if you delve into Twitter, but I like Twitter. It's just, you know it's it's amusing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. And, and you know I'm, I'm mentally strong enough to go on and listen to all and hear it, see it all. You're obviously going to get negative it's usually someone with not a profile picture yeah. And, oh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so when so then you come out of prison what 2001 2002 yeah. roughly around there? December 2001 2001 yeah. and when did you meet your wife where did you meet Natasha I met her in Sugar Lounge in Manchester yeah what club yeah it's just called, it's just called the Sugar Lounge yeah, yeah it's like Deansgate Locks yeah I know there's a few there's yeah, one yeah. in the corner yeah yeah and what was that relationship like were you madly in love um, yeah, not, not madly in love, no, um, we just, just, just got on, um, and then obviously she got pregnant, and then, um, yeah, just went from there, we got, she, I was living in a flat, she was living in a council house, I know she wasn't in the council, she was living in a two-bed house with a, uh, rented from her mum, and uh, we both got a house. And then it went from there. Then we bought a house about three years later. Yeah. And um, yeah, went to, and then in 2010, uh, obviously it f between them we've, we've split up, got back, split up, got back, split up, got back, and then we got back and we ended up going to Vegas and getting married, 2010. What? Because you had one kid. Yeah. But by then he was like five years, six, seven years of age. And it was, was it a matter of like, come on, we better get married, we've got yeah. kids here. Okay, rather yeah. than, oh my God, I really want to get married here. Well, prob that was my thought, but yeah. that, obviously not hers. Uh, but yeah, and within a year, not even a year, it was all over. Yeah. Yeah. Bloody hell. And then mm. tell me, obviously, your brother, tell me the story of your brother going with your wife all these years. What's the story behind that? How long has that been going on for? It's probably been going on 
at the start, probably for a year or so. What do you mean the start? Probably he he was seeing her before I even met her. He was oh okay before yeah. you even got together he was seeing yeah. her okay yeah and was he married yeah 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 um yeah he um did you know he was seeing her before yes. you got together yeah so did you think hold on a minute slop your seconds here or anything like that no that wasn't my thought I was thinking you know this is getting too serious here I'm going to stop this you were going to stop it yeah because it was getting too serious with Natasha yeah with him that was my thought process say that again you thought your thought process was to stop going with her no for him to be stopped with her yeah because it was getting too serious and he had married her with two kids yeah you wanted to stop it what stopped them yeah. Oh, I see. By, okay. Yeah. Did you ever have the fear that, because you obviously knew, did you ever have the fear that Ryan's wife would find out? I think she knew already, because she, she, they, they were literally half a mile that lived from each other where they grew up. They were all, both from Walton, they're not. Little yeah. Walton from all in that little radius. Yeah. And you know what it's like in a little village. Of course. Or, you know. Of course. And did you never, did, was it ever a point you were like, I know something's going on here with... Yeah. My wife yeah, Natasha yeah. and time. Ryan. Yeah. What like? Cause you got together what? Two thousand and three. Three. Yeah. And then this all come out in two thousand eleven, mm. roughly. Yeah. Probably halfway through it, and then n near the end. Uh, yeah. Um, what halfway through that eight year period? You halfway say? through it, yeah. Moved. I moved out. Got myself a flat. Uh, and, and my mum. No, convinced me otherwise. Don't be daft. What were you? What were you thinking in your head? Something's going on here. Yeah, because I'd gone to a, a, a United won the league and um, what year? Uh, I can't remember what year. Was Five, six. Like yeah, two thousand. Yeah, okay, there yeah. so many. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just another one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it would have been like two thousand. I'm saying eight, seven okay. round then. Okay. And and I wasn't really speaking to Ryan then, so she she's gone to the party thinking I won't go. Yeah. I've turned up. Yeah. You're supposed to be meeting me and what you're doing. She's not answering her phone in your ear. What oh, are you doing? No, so she went to a... She, you were meant to meet her. She went to a party. Meet, and she's gone to the after party instead of meeting me. With Ryan? Yeah, well, with the, the team. The team, yeah. but we're Ryan's... In, in oh, living room. Mate. Do you have a living room? Yeah, 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 yeah. Upstairs. Oh, yeah. bloody hell. And yeah, so... When you saw that, was that the full-on confirmation that, that this was is... the first time I thought, wait a minute, what's going on here? And then there was a phone number and then I realised it was his, but I didn't know it was his. What he, had phone. what, he had another number? No, I just didn't know his number. Why? He's your brother. He was changing it all the time. Really? Yeah. And why did you fall out of him before all this kicked off? Oh, he would say that, uh, he, he still believes today that I was selling stories. It's just a total fabrication. The age of 16, when I got, I'm talking about Torquay. Yeah. And I said, and I got, um, sacked in the papers when I got back it was a total story that Ryan Giggs' brother has been sacked for nicking kit that was a total lie so I thought to myself alright so they can write stuff that's not true yeah. alright sweet I can make some money here yeah. so then any if I was out in town the report would say to me it would be like oh you know what kind of cars he got is it, is it no certain certain and I'd say no it's, it is but it's a different colour I'd yeah. always change the colour yeah. that it was He'd give you 200 quid here, 300, all right, sweet. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. That was for about two or three years from when I was like from 17 to like 20. Right, okay. And that was it. So it's still now. But even, you know, I would speak to reporters and befriend them, not give them anything, but I would get information on because these know a lot of shit. Yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> so I would try and, you know, befriend them. And if they, they, they'd give me a like when about, Three years ago, a reporter rang me up. Oh, have you made it up with Ryan? I said, what are you on about? He says, we've seen you in neighbourhood. We've had four or five people ring in saying, you know, we've seen you out partying last night. Now, I didn't leave my house that yeah. night. So I went, yeah, yeah, it was me, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had a good night. 500 quid, all right, sweet. I don't care, they're just like, just crap. Just yeah, someone yeah. reads it, all right, yeah. Yeah, so, fish and chips paper yeah. next day, now. Yeah. So surely, I want to know from 2003 to 2011, those, you're saying the first five years you didn't really know? 
Or you did know that he was seeing your wife? No, no or for three year period, there was nothing. There was no relationship. Yeah. So they say eight years, but in that eight year period, three years. The first three years, it was nothing. Yeah. Well, after about six months for a three year period, yeah, when she was pregnant and obviously. Yeah. But then I find out, you know, with pregnancy that he'd, um, he'd we've at the Belfry and um, on one of his golf dues, we've had an argument. She's drove home and then I later found that she'd slept with him that night. She was six months pregnant. Oh, mate. So, yeah, or whatever she was, I don't know. Wow. How do you mentally deal with that? Because <laughs> I know, you know, that must be tough. Yeah, it was, but, you know, what are you going to do? Are you going to ruin your life for it? Or are you just going to, you know, batten the gum shield and just get through it? And, yeah, four or five years, you get through it. Four, well, five years, yeah, five so years. So where were think. they, how were they... Were they sleeping with each other in your bed, in your house? No, no. No. I remember once. Hotels I or? I remember once when the first house we got, I got home and he was there with his mate. I'm thinking, what the fuck's he doing? Because he never comes to my house. Yeah. Never. Never comes. What's he doing here? And then later found out that he was finding out where I lived. So when I wasn't there, he could come. But yeah. So, uh, wow. Amazing. That's like, not just sure how I deal with that, if I'm honest with you. No, but. Uh, I, the, there's a reason why they were both in Spain. Who? When it happened, when it all came out. What, Natasha and Ryan were yeah. Spain together? No, 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 no. Ryan was with his family. Yeah. And my family in Spain, and she'd been wicked off somewhere by Max Clifford in Spain somewhere. So there's no, no, no coincidence that they were nowhere to be seen. Mm. Because if they would, they, then something would have probably would have happened. Mm. But when you calm down, you think about it, you know. How did you, re tell me how you reacted when you found out that Natasha, your wife, has got well, it was a your kids to go, oh, by the way, I've been sleeping with your, your uh, older brother for the last eight years. Well, it was a, a mum turned up on the morning of the story with the newspaper at my house. What, what? There you go. <laughs> so, a sister. Front page. Sister was in the car. She front went, page. Front page. A sister won't come in. She was stood in the car. Six o'clock in the morning, sat in my house on my own. Like, what? And my mates turned up. As soon as my mates got in there, he's died, dead now. Gary Lloyd, um, get her out of here. So, yeah, she was out. And that was it. And then I was down here, down, went to London, stayed at Wills. Just being followed everywhere. White vans, you know, everywhere. What, one in, one in your Cameras, side of the story? All kind of, yeah. And I shouldn't say anything. What did you do straight away? Did you speak to Ryan straight away? Yeah. Mm. Did he answer? Mm. Did you speak to him straight away? I can't remember, you know, the first day, that day was, th that day, you can only remember little bits because yeah. it was just a big blur. Mm. I can remember the start and the end. In the middle, I can't really remember anything. And when you spoke to him, what did you say? She denied it first. I think he denied it at first. Then, then, I, and I said, lie, lied to him. Said, "Well, all right. Well, she said she's got a recording. Jumped to play it, yeah. And then he told the truth, but she didn't. Yeah. But I, you know, I'm a bit smart than he is. I can know. What did that do for his career at that time? Nothing. Just more. No, no, nothing. No. Nothing. Is it just like? Would he see it as like? Oh, okay, front page. It's all. He could actually just say it's a load of rubbish and deny. That's what he did, I think. Mm. Now, if you come out and apologise, and you can, you can just move on. Yeah. But no, he's not man enough to do anything like that. So, just hide and, you know. And still now, 10 years on, every single person in my family still don't speak to me. <laughs> don't speak to you? Yeah. Yeah, I don't speak. They don't speak to me or whatever. So, this happened in, so this will come out in 2011. When it all came out, were they all on Ryan's side to say, they I don't all, believe they it? They were on holiday with him in his, in, you know, a nice villa, nice way in Spain. So what fa what family members? You speak, you speak mom, to your my, old man? My mum, mum's sister, her family, um, his wife, and obviously it'll be his kids. And they were saying, come out, come out, come out. What, they were saying to you, Me, come yeah, out? Yeah, come out. I'm like, nah, you don't want me to come out. Eh? No. Are you still speaking to your family today? No, I never. I, I don't, it's just How do you feel about that? I'm okay with it. I've got three kids. 
got a 21 year old daughter who's just graduated from Liverpool University, philosophy, religious studies with honours. So uh, we've got a son that's 15, just leaving school, and I've got a seven year old. Takes much of my time. They're missing out, not me. They haven't met my seven year old. They've not even met my 21 year old daughter. So what, what, Ryan hasn't? None of them. None of the family? My mum, none of them. What happens no. if you picked up the phone today and said, look, this is no, the that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. It's just not. If they picked up the phone and I talked to them, but I'm not going to go out my way. No, when every, every time I would do something, they'd make me grovel or... No, no, I ain't doing that. Have you upset any of them? Probably. Because I speak my mind. Yeah. Are they are they protective of Ryan because he's a face? Yeah. Yeah. And do they, it, it, being a face, do they also get given, look, they get looked after with villas yeah. and money and dead? I so. assume so, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know about that, but, you know. What happened after 2011, when this all came out on the press? What was your next movements? Um, Were you angry? Just try to get through it. Were you just, angry? Just, yeah, just mentally just try to get through it. Just just get through it, get through everything, and then you can get on with it. So that, that, that was going through, you know, nights going out, addicted to sleeping pills because you can't sleep but then you go back to going out and then you're getting in like going out and getting in at 12 yeah. one o'clock in, in the next day yeah. it's like what am I doing yeah what am I doing and you're in your 30s then yeah and then I met a girl Were you, have you got addictive personality mm. I don't know no I don't think so do you know when to stop partying if you had to stop partying yeah. like, I've had enough now Well, knock it on the head no yeah yeah you can go in a pub and have a pint, two pints, and just walk out mm. easily. You sound like quite a mentally tough person. But it's over the period of, of 30 years of all the sh crap and mental stuff, and you've had to deal with it, basically deal with it on your own. Yeah. No father, no real you know, mother, although she, you know, she, she did well bringing us up. She had two jobs, it was a difficult for her. But, yeah. Are you in contact with your old man now? Yeah. Yeah. How's that feeling? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, he's got a son, so I've got a brother yeah. who's 10, 11. Speaks to my sister in Cardiff, who's just turned 30. Yeah. We're close, so. But he doesn't speak to all them. Yeah, okay. So it's like, yeah. And after 2011, what were, what were your movements? This all come out. How long did it take to die down this whole story, this whole thing? Oh, it was. For it, you it personally? Was, yeah, it was. Years or months? No, years, yeah. No, for the story to die down, it was like every day. Yeah. A different story. And did you, were you reading them going, this is a load of bollocks, they're, they're yeah. just making all this up now? Yeah, it's just crap, yeah. And she was every day, and then, you know, yeah, it's just too much, and then they're following you. Uh, and give, me an give me an example of someone following you. We went to, a, like, a shopping centre. Uh, Up in Manchester? No, in London. Was, no, it was in, uh, I think it was in Slough. Okay. Because I was staying in, at Wills at Burnham, yeah. Beaconsfield. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, it was, um, you know, the white vans with the black dark wingers and the big... <laughs> you could see them. Like, yeah. Would uh, you play up to them? No. No, okay. No, no, no. Um, no. No, I won't play up to them. Just rats. Proper rats, yeah, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, And you just end up getting in trouble with yeah. one of them. Just and then they catch you on camera, camera. It all yeah. Heads, yeah. And then you get done again. Yeah, and that's okay. what they want. You got, yeah, oh, oh, oh. I've got you. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then, and then what then? So when was the when was the year when Paddy Power approached you? Tell me about that story. Paddy Power, um, 2018. Um, Did they approach you? So I've got an idea. Yeah, yeah. Here's the script. Uh, I says, yeah, okay, but I'm not doing that. And what was um, that? Slagging Wales off. Oh, they want like to do the country off. Oh, no, 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 no way. Yeah. Why do they want you to do that? I don't know. It's just in the part of the script, so I said, that's not on me. Yeah. And that was it. But uh, the rest of it, just tweaked a little bit of it. Yeah, it was. And then... Did you ever laugh doing it again? You know what, this is yeah, tongue in cheek well, fun. Well, well, is it like getting your own back? Yeah. Yeah, it was, you know, I have a bit of joke about myself, but I'm the joke about uh, the whole situation. And, and to be honest, it's made me move on a lot, lot quicker. Yeah. But you know what? Life's too short. Yeah, nah. yeah, no, so he did that, but you know, that's my response. We moved on. Mm. A bit of fun about it and mm. crack on. You know, I can eat as well. Mm. How much do you get paid for that advert? Uh, not. You uh, remember? Yeah. Mm. It was okay. 
Twenties, thirties? No, more. More. Yeah, but they've they've kept me a retainer, and I'm still with them today. I sign another six months next next month. Is that right? Yeah. What have you got to do for that? Um, just pictures and stuff on the the the, the app and stuff. I think it's a genius by Paddy Power doing that. Absolute genius. It was hard work. It was so I've gone to uh, what did I say hard work. I've gone to a coach, Martin Gibson. Gib- Gibbons. What brilliant. sort of coach? Like an acting coach. Okay. Like, like an acting coach. Yeah. So I did that for a few weeks, and then I've met the director and one of the producers in a hotel, and we've just run through it all just for for hours, just rehearsing and rehearsing. So when I got on there, I was I was ready to go. Yeah. And how long did the advert for? Did it get banned, the advert? Yeah, yeah. It did? Yeah. Go on. Um, I don't know. There was, my, uh, the Paddy Power said four or five people have complained, but, you know, high power people, and it's coming from London. Yeah. So, I don't know. But they were like... Wait. I don't care, it's done yeah, it here, it's yeah, out there now. Yeah. It's out there. But then they shortened it. Right, okay. So they obviously and it's all over YouTube. I think and they, were, they, were, they were promoting, asking for champagne, be driving a Maserati, yeah. promoting bucky, buckies and you know, yeah. gamblings and yeah. you know, which is you got to you know, bet safely and and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, they've got on their high horse and, and banned it. Wow, but mm-hmm. you still got your money. Yeah, yeah. And you're still and on retainer. Still, still with them today. Yeah. Fair play. Well, they oh, like I mean, to deal with. They're good. Are they good to oh, deal yeah. with? They're the I've best heard. people. Yeah. I've heard. Dublin, they treat you really well. The, their offices is amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're really, really good people. And you know, I see them every every year at Cheltenham. Yeah. Get off with it at Cheltenham in the in the box. It's brilliant. Happy days. Yeah, it's really good. They really look after, after you, yeah. Yeah. Just going back to Natasha, did you ever say to her, like, how many times did you sleep with him? Where did you sleep with him? What did you do? Did you really delve into her? No, not really, because then you, you've got that. You know, you don't want the details. It's happened. You really want the gory, you know, the details mm. and... Well, it's uh, happened. It's happened for eight years. Yeah. How many, time, yeah. how many times a week? Well, well like I give her the idea. Yeah. So she... I, she I would, I would, <laughs> what, just, no, 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 go no, with my no, brother. No, 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 no. <laughs> I give her the idea where to go. Right. Because I said to her, are you sure? If you wanted to cheat, you've got the perfect job. I was an estate agent. You've got a million apartments to go to. Yeah. So... What does she do we live in? Well, she, she was an estate agent. She was an estate agent was at the she? time, yeah. She was an estate agent at the time, so she would get keys from houses and go to houses. So she was shagging him in different houses. <laughs> who, who she supposed to be renting, yeah. Mate, and I give her the mate, idea. You couldn't, you couldn't write this story. No, no. <laughs> this is no. like news of the world story, isn't it? Wow. No, no. But I give her the idea. It's like, oh. <laughs> 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 did, she, did she, was she remorseful? She must have lived a life of so much guilt and remorse well, she, did she become a really good liar to you yeah 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 but you, know, you, you, you always have you, you, know, you always have your instinct but yeah your gut yeah but what was your gut telling you yeah your instinct but you should never go against your instinct and it's, you know it's the, 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 the only one thing I did when I first met her the first two three years there was constant in my brain what are you doing get away from this right and I didn't yeah why were you thinking that I don't know it was just me, me instinct, and I've got really good instinct. Was that? And I've ignored it. Was that instinct after you gave her the heads up, going, mate, the best place to go with Ron is houses that you're doing? No, that was before. <laughs> that was before yeah. <laughs> Did you know, was she Was she a girl about town? Was she yeah. sleeping with other people as well? Yeah. Other footballers? Yeah. Yeah. While going out with you? Probably, yeah. Bloody yeah, hell. Probably. What, what, what players? What players? Oh. Sir Alex? <laughs> York, 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 Dwight York, but that was before me. Yeah, yeah, he'd met her before me, but yeah, she was she was only about twenty, twenty one at the time. A sister and a friend, and the skirts up yeah. here. And okay, at the time, yeah. Wow, you could you could you actually couldn't write this story. No, 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 yeah, I know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, come out the end, all right. And what's what's Ryan up to? You've, you haven't spoken to him since. No, I spoke to if him. If you if you dropped him a WhatsApp now, said hello, mate. How you doing? Sorry about the last ten years. You want to chat? What would he say? Yeah, I can think he kind of he needs me because I I'd be shouting his corner. I, I some of the stuff that I see, you know, I, some of the stuff is still he's still my brother. and I still have you know, feelings for him and, and this stuff like football, you know, this Hall of Fame stuff. Yeah, he's not. You know, yeah, it's just. It's just annoying. 
Everyone's got a price, right? What price would it be for you to drop him a text? Oh, I don't give a shit about money. So that wouldn't matter to you no, whatsoever? You don't no. care about the relationship with your no. brother anymore? It's done? No, no. No, not at all. So no. you would be open to he, he building a relationship? Of, he can, he's got something coming up soon and that he's going to need all the support that he can get. Yeah. And he's going to stick up for him no matter what. So I hope he's got that because that's what he would have had with me. So I just hope he's got that because, you know, we, we've seen it recent days what would he delve into in these court cases? Yeah. Text messages, all kinds of shit. Yeah. I don't think he's he's fathomed that you know this is what's going to happen. Yeah. All the stuff it's yeah. going to be public. Yeah, it's going to be so. Is it going to come out? Well, what do you do? Did he? Going, he I don't. I don't know. He's the Wales well Wales manager, and then got told you can't be the Wales manager again. I think it's just obviously you know you're suspending so the, the court case. Yeah, and the court so case is for what? Effectively, he's still Wales manager, coercive and. Abusive behaviour or something. So it's going to trial now. This has been going for like two years. The trial's in August, I think, or whenever it is. Has he got a tight bunch of so, mates around him to look after him? I, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Would you be one of them if you made up? You don't, yeah, because he's going to be getting a lot of stick. I know what these court cases are like. I've had a few of them in my time. It's not, it's not the, it's the build up. It's there. Yeah, of course. It's, it's there. Of course. Built, and then you, obviously you see what's coming, the court cases of. The Rooney case, now the Johnny Depp one, and yeah. all the drama. Yeah. This is going to be the same crap. When do you think that'll be? I think it's August, this August. Wow. So, just, you know. If he called you now and it was ringing now, it was your brother, would you pick up? Yeah, of course I would. Yeah. I haven't got issues anymore. Yeah. He's the one with the issues, and then all, all the rest of them think I'm this bad guy. You know? I don't I, know. All I do is, you know. Bring up my three children, go to work. I don't even go out anymore and drink. Yeah. Don't just don't entertain it. Yeah. Just don't want to get put myself in a situation where, you know, I could do something. Yeah. Why? No Forty five years of age. Yeah, no need. Don't play me golf. Yeah. See my kids. Walk my dog. Happy as long. Mm. What is, what's the next movements for you, Roger? Uh coaching. Coaching. coaching Whereabouts? Yeah. Where are you coaching? I'm coaching just jo uh, joined this Pro Elite Soccer Academy which is um, helping young kids who obviously are not get professional clubs to get professional clubs. So, yeah. Who else has got that? This is, an ex-player's done that, haven't there's they? A, there's, a few, there's a few that's done it. but um, Glenn Oddle? Was it Glenn Oddle? Glenn Oddle, yeah. In, in, that was in Marbella, was it? Did yeah. He, in Marbella? he said something like, basically, all the kids, all the, all the ones who yeah. were given, you are going to make it, you are going to make it, all of a sudden you're dropped. Come, come to Glenn Oddle's and we'll get you in into another club. Yeah. Is that what you're looking okay, to do? This is, we've been doing it for a few months now, yeah. And this has been going for 12 months and it's just gone from strength to strength. They've got an academy in Manchester, Birmingham, and now in London. And they're looking to expand. They've got a game tomorrow um, Stoke City. So, yeah, they're staying at a hotel tonight at Stoke and then they'll go and play yeah. in the morning. Fair play. And what about, tell me about your podcast. Podcasts I've done with uh, for, for Stell for about five or six years, but in the last six months I've just started my own on... Rodri gigs on football with um, with Cy Willis on a Thursday. It's uh, yeah, it's good. She's got a good sponsor and football manager recently. So happy days. Yeah. And what's that like? What's that like for you? Is that like a, a getting on the podcast talking about all the football that happened on the weekend? Yeah, anything football, mostly football, uh, any kind of football news, whether it's Cardiff City because my co-host is a Cardiff fan. He's from Cardiff, yeah. so he likes to talk about Cardiff and obviously and we're Welsh, so we talk about Wales coming up. And then obviously the end of the season we did one last night. Yeah, just an hour, boom. Yeah, it's yeah, done. yeah. yeah. Roger, I've really enjoyed this chat. Really enjoyed. Thanks for your honesty. Yeah, no massive problem. honesty. There. Do you know what? There's something about you which is really endearing to knowing that you could let this go with your brother. Well, look, there's so many positive messages that that have helped people. That have they've, I'm not going to say them all. all and there's been a lot saying, you know what? You've helped me. You know, I've been bitter, I've been... What's the point? Yeah. You should move on with your life. It's yeah. a nice trait yeah. to have, you know. Yeah. Because some people are so, you know, they're just wrapped up in, in their own bitterness and their own, you know, karma will get them. Yeah. Karma will get them. Yeah. And how long, how long was you... Well, how long were you bitter for, do you think? Well, I'm never bitter, just angry. How long were you angry for? How many years? Four or five years. Really? Okay. Yeah. What things were going through your head, all sorts? Mmm... Just want to beat someone up. Yeah. Yeah. Did you want to beat Ryan up? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
But yeah, it's just not going to get anywhere. It's not, is it? No. Nah. Were you nah. picturing what you could do to him? And no. Did, not, not no. At all. No. no. Okay. None of that rubbish. Yeah. No. Okay. Just properly angry old yeah. brother. Massive disrespect. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? You're most um, decorated football in this country. Yeah. Yeah. Ever. You know, ever. You played for one of the biggest clubs from 17 to tw- to 41. You're ruining your fucking legacy. What are you doing? Yeah. For what? Yeah. Some skirt. Yeah. And you know in the world we live in, you know, people jump on negativity like in a heartbeat and, you know, that's what he's got face now because, like I say, all this Hall of Premier League Hall of Fame, you're all telling me Alan Shearer and Thierry Henry should have been. They've both got five Premiership medals between them. He's got yeah. 13. He was in it from the start. So, and it's just but people say, oh, he's got a cork, he's a woman beat, he's in this. Yeah. No, he's not. It's not been done yet. Yeah. But no one will say that. Yeah, I could say that because they'll, they'll, if they say, "Oh, he's cheap," well, that was me. Yeah. I'm over it. Why? What's it got to do with you? Yeah. So it needs someone to champ. But you know, it is what it is. Wow, Roger, I've absolutely loved this, mate. Yeah, it's good to see you. I mate. thank you uh, for coming down here into the studio. Yeah. And... You have to get me to one of these festivals. Yeah, mate. What's yeah. next weekend? Bournemouth Sevens Festival, mate. You're more than welcome. V V I P. Thirty thousand people partying in the field. Three sounds, days. Sounds good to 12 me. festival arenas. Yeah, I might do. Chasing status, headline. You're more than welcome, mate. Yeah, well, I've got your number, I'll let you know. Quality. Cheers, Cheers fella. Good Cheers. man. Cheers, nice pal. one. Nice one.